now, STC brings you the latest news from Hollywood. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Dave Axelgard with the movie music edition of STC News. Modern film scores are terrible, or so claims a recent article published in the Times of London. Their source? None other than composer Hans Zimmer. The German musician complained that most contemporary film music is lazy and forgettable. He said, quote, They drift around like cows grazing. So many scores sound like nobody really thought about them. End quote. And while I have to assume the cow metaphor works better in German, I think I get his drift. He did, however, have some kind words for modern masters Ennio Morricone and John Williams. But beyond that, Zimmer could really only ruminate wistfully about where the next Jerry Goldsmith might be. And to a certain extent, I mean, I agree with him. Much of today's film music sounds like it was churned out by the same bunch of nameless note-writing elves in some German score workshop, only to have a single famous name slapped on it, so the same score could be sold to Disney three separate times for three separate Pirates of the Caribbean movies. But for talented musicians like Michael Giacchino, Alan Menken, Dario Marianelli, people who, you know, actually write their own music, I can't imagine anyone who actually understands film music attacking their musicianship. So, for Han's sake, I'll assume that I didn't understand that cow metaphor after all. Either way, let's take a look at the scorecard. Lara Cartman is currently scoring Ace Ventura 3. The sequel, also called Ace Ventura Pet Detective Jr., is being directed by David Mickey Evans. The composer and the director have previously collaborated on a similarly unwatchable and unnecessary sequel, The Sandlot 2. And George S. Clinton is currently working on music for The Love Guru, a new comedy starring Mike Myers. The composer's past scores include The Santa Claus 3 and Big Mama's House 2. His next project, a similarly unwatchable and unnecessary sequel, Harold and Kumar Escape from Guantanamo Bay. Man, I really wish that last one was a joke. Maybe Hans Zimmer was right after all. That's the Movie Music News. I'm Dave Axelgard, and I'm back in an hour.